What is tidal heating? What does it mean for Europa? Europa is one of the Galilean moons, one of four moons of Jupiter discovered by Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei in 1610. This moon is covered with a thick icy shell, but underneath may be a deep ocean of salty water up to 100 kilometers deep. Now, Jupiter is five times further from the sun than the Earth at an average of 778 million kilometers. The sun doesn't really reach Europa, and it should be frozen solid. So why isn't it? It's all about orbits. Europa moves along an elliptical orbit, like most worlds, and its distance from Jupiter changes. Over time, the gravitational stress on Europa changes. It's like a grip around a ball, relaxing and clenching. You can see it here with the moon and its effect on our ocean. This causes tides on Earth, and Jupiter's influence has the same effect on Europa's rocky core. It flexes. Friction and stresses within the rock create heat over time. The core is literally ebbing and flowing tidally, the same way oceans on Earth do. Over geological time, the heat created by this process has enabled liquid water to remain stable. What would it be like beneath that ice? The European Ocean is believed to be between 60 and 100 kilometers deep. Missions for Europa are planned, and for astrobiology, the moon is an exciting possibility for alien life. So this is tidal heating, and what it can do. All life really requires, at the end of the day, is an energy source, and the floor of this ocean may possess hydrothermal vents. On Europa, as on Earth, these vents can be created by seawater, which seeps into fissures in the outer crust and becomes superheated. At extreme heats and pressures, seawater reacts with the surrounding rock, and the chemically enriched brew is the result, issuing from these openings. The heat and chemicals in this water can provide the raw materials and energy for all manner of organisms. And many astrobiologists and researchers studying the origin of life believe life may have begun on Earth around such regions. So, tidal heating could be an important factor in the habitability of exoplanets and exomoons, where other energy sources such as solar radiation are not accessible. Extrasolar planets, known as rogue planets, don't belong to a star system at all, and move freely through space. Tidal forces may provide an important energy source for life on these worlds. It's possible. Again, thanks for watching Astrobiological, bringing you the universe of plain human. Explore the very frontiers of life in the universe and subscribe to this very channel. See you next time.